so this should be good uh, this one here it's, I got a call saying the drain pans all iced up so we'll see if the drain line heaters dead or the pan heater um, and yeah, we'll get out there and take a look at this okay this is my freezer I'm working on today it's a nice little setup you got your disconnect your time clock so it's 404A we're below zero it's not having an issue with cooling. It is having an issue with the drain pad. So let's take a look. Oh yeah. Look at that big old frozen drain pad. And what we'll do on freezers is this drain line has a heater on it right here. It's my drain line heater. And we'll check that and there might be a pan. There might be a heater in the pan that failed also. Let me check this out here. So I'll go on the back of the nameplate here. And you'll get an amp draw. I don't know if it's coming through on the video, but it's 7.5 amps defrost heaters so I'm gonna check those real quick and then uh, we'll check the drain line heater too we put it into a defrost to check our amp the ice this one actually had connectors for the heater and then we'll move it out okay, so this is where I'm at now I got I went ahead and removed the drain pan full of ice I removed uh, you can see I made a big old mess here I removed that drain line heater off of there and uh, this is a really old unit wiring's kind of hooky I'm gonna ohm out that drain pan heater and we'll also check for voltage going to it and uh, the drain line seemed to be clear it wasn't frozen so I'm thinking the heater was all right yeah it's still warm it's just a little six watts heaters good so let me We'll check uh, ohms on the drain pan heater, and then we'll check for voltage going to it. We'll see where we're at. You can see the freezers get fun, get real messy. Good times, good times. So here's our drain pan. You'll see the heater in there. This one actually had some spade connector terminals on it. It's really old. So let's go ahead and ohm it out. I'll get the alligator clips on the meter and we'll ohm this out. So using the DL429, you get the alligator clips with it. I'm gonna pimp that meter as much as I can because I really like it. it. Comes with the alligator clips and you can see my ohms. 240. Yeah, I got my leads up here. Um, the wires and we got voltage, 240 volts. So, I'm going to hook it back up and we'll take an amp draw on the heater. Then I'm wondering if it was this hooky setup. Maybe we weren't transferring heat between... They got this little coupling sitting there in the drain line going right into it. Maybe it wasn't transferring enough heat and the, the, the nipple froze up from the drain pan going into there. Might have was what caused all this. So, let's see. Okay. This is our drain heater. Amps are on the top line. So you're getting one amp. And it's getting good and hot. You can burn your fingers off, but. Yeah. 
drain heater's fine. But see this weird connection here? So I don't have it connected all the way yet. But I don't think we were transferring heat with this funky connection. So I'm going to get that drain heater super good and we'll see how it works out. But the drain pan heater's good. And the defrost heater's good. So let me get this thing back together and we'll get working on okay, it. Okay, so what I did is I had another little heater on the truck. So I added a drain heater, re insulated. I, I didn't have any plumbers strap but I had a pan to it got that strapped up so because that gap won't come down to uh, make an air gap so hopefully it'll heat up and not ice up anymore drain pans good heaters good now I'm gonna break ice with my mini sledge and clean this up okay, there it is all done I'm at the door. Got her all cleaned up. no worries Cut the door open so it's making fog. All cleaned up. There it is. <laughs>